This is an old school Delta Unisaw. I got this baby for free, and if you're anything like me, you like old tools just because they're cool. At one point, they were the pinnacle of innovation, but also because they're cheap. I got this thing for free, and it's in great shape. Um, one thing about it, though, is that it doesn't have a riving knife. It's kind of a safety feature most saws have these days, but back then, it wasn't such a thing. Uh, I know there's like the micro jig, splitter, but I've been searching, and I think I found something that is a lot cooler. Check it out. Say hello to my little friend, Delta Industrial, the 34H68. It is an adjustable splitter. It bolts onto the inside of your saw right behind the blade. It goes up and down. And it's got these paws, a little anti-kickback action. Let's take this blade off. Uh, I'm going to take this off and that off, and it seems easy enough. Two holes there, and they line up with the two holes on here. So I'm just going to throw the bolts in there, and that's the installation. These left tilt saws are weird, I'm not used to them. Alright, very cool, very interesting. You got the splitter, you got the paws going back and forth. Dude, this thing might actually work flawlessly. Ooh, did you hear that thing stop? Dude, these Unisaws, I thought they were a bunch of hype till I got one. And these things are like really well made. This splitter, eh, it works pretty good. Uh, I'll probably need to straighten it out a little bit. But as you can see, it totally worked. It totally did the job. And uh, what a great safety feature to have on there. You know, it cost me about 80 bucks. And weirdly, I found it on the Home Depot. Website Home Depot is selling splitters for 40 year old saws. I mean, some of these saws go back to the 1940s. So, all in all, great safety feature. If you have an old saw, an old Delta Unisaw, this is what you need to put on it. Um, this eventually is going to be my main saw. I got my Dayton right here, but I got a bunch of extras. Uh, I do plan on changing out the fence on this bad boy, uh, putting a router table and a little extension on it. But until then, it's just sitting over here in the old tool corral, um, getting upgraded one piece at a time. So I hope you, if you have an old Delta table saw and you've been thinking about ways to put a splitter on it, I hope that you got something out of this. Check out the Home Depot website. Weirdly, I don't know why. Home Depot is the last place I would look for something like this. But uh, thanks to the old internet, I found it. So thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.